from the WKBN 27 First News Network, home of the High School Basketball Starting Five Award and the best overall sports coverage in the Valley. This is the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week on My YTV. Inside historic E.J. McCluskey Gymnasium, it is the high school basketball game of the week, live on My YTV. Chad Krasminski alongside Will Klusenik as a pair of undefeated Pennsylvania Powers are getting set to face off as the Farrell Steelers host the Kennedy Catholic Golden Eagles. All set for the opening tip as we are going to take a look at the starting lineups as we're ready to get this thing underway. 24 victories between the two to see the starting five for both sides and we're all set for the opening tip. Only one of these teams will head home still undefeated. Sit back, relax, and enjoy District 10 basketball opening tip is controlled by Farrell and we're underway here in Western Pennsylvania. Chad, just a fantastic atmosphere for basketball. Two great teams. Gonna see some different types of basketball. You know, Farrell with their size, gonna look to get it inside there. Kennedy Catholic really looking to speed up the tempo and use some of these guards to get them in a pressure situation. 15 straight victories for Kennedy Catholic in the series. Steelers with the ball just 30 seconds in. Into the hands of Evans. Evans hands it off. It's Hobson. Hobson raises up for three, and she's got it. And they talked about that earlier, the coaches. She's got a great shot, very confident player, and she's their go-to. Kennedy Catholic turns it over up the floor. Matyra Evans puts it up and won't go. Off the miss, Casey with the rebound. Now the ball trickles out of bounds. And it will go back to Kennedy Catholic. And I'm sure there's going to be a lot of emotion early on with both teams being undefeated. District 10, first place on the line. So we're going to see which team's able to handle some of that emotion and intensity early. These two, both undefeated 6-0 in District 10, Region 1. Up at the top of the key, it's Fusco feeding it to Berardi. Who raises up just inside that three-point line. Can't get it to go. And Hobson comes down with a rebound. Hobson up the floor into the paint. Feeds it down low. Strong move. It won't go. Both teams crash to the boards. County Catholic comes up with it. Here come the Golden Eagles. Down the floor. Easy look. Off the glass and in for K.K. Shannon House. Shannon House. And, and that's what they talked about also, the coaches in the pregame, by getting down the floor quickly, scoring, you know, and making sure they get some of those easy baskets. Farrell with a one-point lead. Malaysia Gregory, cross court. Here's Diamond Barber. Gregory, long three, up off the back of the rim, no good. Rebound torn down by Wade. Wade, great size underneath. She towers. And that was a big concern also, their size inside. Were they able to keep them off the glass? And Hobson does a great job of finding them underneath. Long range shot way off the mark from Diamond Barber. And we have our first whistle and our first foul of the night. It'll be called against the Steelers. And I think they just got Malaysia Gregory. Nope, I beg your pardon. Three, two is our score. Kennedy Catholic with a basketball onto the wing. This is Fusco feeding it middle of the paint. Up no good. Rebound Fisher, and it's an over the back call on Fisher, who's a force on the offensive side. And that was a great opportunity. Great penetration right there by Fus Fusco. Unable to capitalize on the easy bucket. So 3-2 is our score. Steelers take possession of the ball. Glad you're with us here. Live on my YTV. Gregory now slowing up the tempo. So bring it across. This is Barber. Giving it back out of the wing to Gregory, who triggers. Hits iron. No good. With the rebound to Kennedy Catholic. Here's KK Shannon House racing it up the floor. The Burns into the paint. No look pass to Fusco, who tracks it down. 
Fusco lobs underneath Berardi in traffic up to the top of the key long three up back edge no good for Burns hops in with a rebound long lob down the floor Evans tracks it down taps it back to Hobson who fires and hits Hobson the all-around player looking to get the ball down the floor to the bigs always looking to push it doesn't get the easy bucket but it gets reversed another jumper for Hobson three-point lead for the Farrell Steelers Fisher spins fires and banks in the triple any way you could take it off the glass build some of that momentum Jillian Fisher in that kind English off the glass and we're tied at five the Farrell doing a nice job of being patient and just as I say that they they shoot one off the quick one right there but great hustle to get the ball back jump ball and excellent job of getting the ball back by Gregory maybe a little bit ill-advised shot not moving the ball around but great hustle getting it back we'll fe see our first substitution for Kennedy Catholic it is Neely Whitehead and Whitehead of course made her mark of course she played at Hickory before transferring in here to Kennedy Catholic Shannon House takes it baseline has her pass picked off Evans up the floor Evans to the line to the lane ball knocked out of bounds and with 356 left to play we'll take a timeout 5-5 is our score back to Farrell after this you're watching live coverage of the high school basketball game of the week on my YTV Lightline Embroidery and Screen Print in Girard has been a proud sponsor of the player of the game for over 10 years. For all of your personalized school or business apparel, event and business signs and posters, they've got you covered. There's only one place to go, Lightline, West Liberty Street, Girard. The fact that the Newcastle School of Trades stresses the importance of soft skills is very important. The ability to communicate with our customers creates trust and credibility, which is paramount in this industry. I feel the partnership with Newcastle School of Trades and Johnny Case Power Sports will help us strengthen our position by providing us with qualified technicians and service writers to help us meet our customer demands. Newcastle School of Trades, where, where employers, employers and graduates, graduates come, come together. together. Visit us at ncstrades.edu or call now. Lightline Embroidery and Screen Print in Girard has been a proud sponsor of the Player of the Game for over 10 years. For all of your personalized school or business apparel, event and business signs and posters, they've got you covered. There's only one place to go, Lightline, West Liberty Street, Girard. Well, the student section for Farrell out in full force. 3.56 left to play in the opening quarter. A couple of District 10 powers doing battle and we're deadlocked at five when we're glad you're with us here at the WKBN high school basketball game of the week out of the timeout it will be Farrell ball Marissa Hobson really the distributor the heart and soul of this Farrell team fires it in into the corner Hobson for three up off the rim no good cleaned up second shot won't go third one off the mark ball knocked out of bounds we're gonna stay here with 346 left you look at Farrell and they really do an outstanding job of getting to the glass thinking rebound first and that's a big key and they got position and anytime you give teams second and third opportunities that's going to wear you down lob it into the paint off the glass and in nicely done for Kiara Wade another assist for Hobson uh, the coaches talked about it early. She does a great job of finding the bigs inside where they can do the damage. I think we have a delay of game warning as the ball went through and he told the Kennedy Catholic player to the official, let the ball go. Got to leave it alone. 7-5, Farrell leading Kennedy Catholic. Bounce pass onto the wing to Neely Whitehead. Whitehead, a great shooter. Brings it back onto the wing, spinning shot off the glass. It is short, cleaned up by Fisher. She works it back out to Berardi. Whitehead for three, off the rim, no good. Great rebound, Fisher off the front edge. Cleaned up by Whitehead. Here's KK Shannon House. Outside the three-point line, great ball movement, very unselfish play. And it is Whitehead drawing the contact and the foul. One of the smaller players 
on the floor, but boy, she st sticks her nose in there, doesn't she? Sticks, sticks her nose in there, and you can see looking to attack the glass, but you gotta give Fisher a lot of credit in there. Those are the possessions where you get those 50-50 balls, those extra rebounds, and give players like Whitehead to get to the line and take advantage of it. Whitehead misses the free throw. Tremendous defensive player is Whitehead. We've already touched on the fact that she's a great outside shooter. She can certainly run the offense. Coming off the bench for the Golden Eagles. And she splits the pair. And it's a one-point ball game at 7-6. Steelers work it back underneath. And there's a foul called on Kennedy Catholic's Jillian Fisher. And another great job, Hobson, looking to get the ball inside. Defender on the back, he, try to get an easy entry, reaches over the top. Easy call for the officials. So now two team fouls per side. Ball is tracked down, up top, long three from the wing. Up and in, plus the foul. What a shot for Hobson. Hobson, she's fired out in the head. She's ready to go. You know, she's doing an excellent job. She's pretty much the heart and soul, which we've talked about. Gets it in rhythm, online, knocks it down. The opportunity for the four-point play. Don't say that very often. Tell you what, Hobson, the floor general, puts it up no good. She's being recruited by the Akron Zips, who I'm told are here tonight to take this one in. Underneath, Whitehead. Looks it back up to the top of the key. It's taken away by the Steelers. Stolen by Barber into the hands of Hopson. You, know, you can just see Hopson savvy, her understanding you know, what she wants to do and where she wants her teammates. 10-6. Farrell by four. Steelers slow down the tempo. It's Malaysia Gregory. Outside the three-point line around a screen. Gregory's pass is picked off. KK Shannon House. And the Golden Eagles have numbers. Whitehead shot blocked underneath. Golden Eagles track it down. Baseline take up. It is short. Caitlin Figley unable to stick it in. Kennedy Catholic getting a lot of point blank shots. Just not able to capitalize. The ball is out of bounds. I thought for a second there might be an offensive foul. But it is simply out of bounds. Kiera Wade lowered the shoulder. But it's just out of bounds play on. There was definitely some contact there, Chad. Either block or charge. But we knew this game was going to be physical. And they're going to let him play. KK Shannon House, top of the key, feeds it back underneath, low block, in traffic, up and in, plus the foul, nicely done for Sophia Berardi. Excellent interior passing, you know, when you see the double team coming, you make the pass, Berardi able to finish it off with some strength, she has the opportunity for the old-fashioned three-point play. Now, Berardi is a player that has really emerged in visiting with the Kennedy Catholic coaches. Great physical presence, great moves inside. Really an emotional leader, plays very hard. Outstanding rebounder, she can do it all. Can also shoot from the outside, Berardi, as At that time Hobson got stuck. Yeah. Kind of in a double team, dribbling a little bit too much. Sometimes you've got to make your decisions earlier. You know, and not get stuck and get on top of players. And that's what happened right there. And she got the turnover. 10-9 is our score. Steelers by one in the hands of Berardi, who faces up. Great ball fake. Out to Whitehead. Knifing her way through the paint. And she's able to draw the contact. And the foul. And Whitehead will head to the free throw line and shoot two. And there's that aggressiveness you talked about. Get yourself into the interior. Draw the, and absorb the contact and get yourself to the free throw line. Neely Whitehead as a free throw shooter connecting on 50% of her charity tosses coming in. She's averaging 7.5 points per game, 2.1 rebounds, and 2.2 assists. She is 1 for 3 at this point, trying to make it 2 for 4, and she does. And we're tied at 10 inside of 90 seconds left in the opening quarter. This one has been as good as we thought it would be between these two undefeated Pennsylvania powers. Gregory scoops it up, a little bit too strong. Off the miss, Berardi with a rebound. 
Long lob down the floor. Shannon House puts it up off the rim. No good. And it is cleaned up. Figley. Shot blocked. Hopson ends up with it for Farrell. Errant pass out of bounds. That one was forced just a bit. As Hopson was looking for Kiera Wade, the big 6-3 post player. You, you like to reward the, the bigs when they're running the floor. Hopson just a little bit ill-advised. You know, sometimes you've got to understand what the situation is and maybe dial it back. The Whitehead. Great backdoor cut. Up no good, but Michaela Fusco is going to step to the free throw line as she's able to draw the foul. That one called on Diamond Barber. And that will be team foul number five. And another back door right there by Kennedy Catholic. Fosco able to get behind and now get herself to the free throw line. Interestingly enough, Fosco stands just 5-2. You can see she's one of the smaller players on the floor, but she's Kennedy Catholic's second leading rebounder. Really a ball hawk. Forces a lot of steals. And that shows some heart. And we talk about it all the time. To be a great rebounder, you've got to think rebound first, and, and she obviously does that. Off the miss. Rebound underneath. Up and in for Berardi. The Berardi. Kennedy Catholic really getting some high percentage shots. Starting to knock them down now. They've got that 13 to 10 lead now. Final 30 seconds. Hops in. Puts it up. And it bounces in. Very creative by Hops and able to get to the baseline and lay it in and gets the steal. Kennedy Catholic trying to push the pace, trying to catch the Steelers napping, but Farrell defensively, good job getting back, ball out of bounds, it'll go back to Farrell. Go back to Farrell, 12 seconds left, down one. You gotta assume that the ball's gonna be in Hobson's hands. Inside of 10 seconds, Hobson trying to end this opening quarter with a bang. Hobson top of the key, feeding it underneath. Ball is picked off by Figley, and with that, the first quarter's in the books. So, one quarter is in the books. We head to the second quarter with your score. Kennedy Catholic 13, Farrell 12. You're watching live coverage of the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week on my... You're watching the High School Basketball Game of the Week on my YTV. Powered by the WKBN 27 First News Network. Do you have trouble falling asleep? Do you toss and turn all night or wake up with a sore neck or headache? Then it's time you discovered MyPillow. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, inventor of MyPillow. Just like you, I had problems sleeping. I tried every pillow out there and nothing worked. Ten years ago, I invented my pillow. It took me two years to develop because I wanted to have everything you would ever want in a pillow. I made sure that you could adjust my patented fill so you could have the exact support you need as an individual regardless of your sleep position. I also wanted a pillow that would last, so I made my pillow machine washable and dryable. I back my pillow with a 10-year warranty and a 60-day money-back guarantee. Not only that, I do all my own manufacturing in my home state of Minnesota. Now I'm proud to announce that my pillow is the official pillow of the National Sleep Foundation. To celebrate, I'm giving you a very special offer. Go to MyPillow.com or call now to order one of my pillows. When you do, I'll give you a second one absolutely free. Other pillows go flat, causing you to fold them over or use your arm for support, which can cause pain. Hard foam pillows can raise your head too high, making you very uncomfortable. But the revolutionary MyPillow has patented fill that won't go flat and keeps your neck supported and aligned to your exact individual need. MyPillow helps you get and stay in deep sleep all night long. My pillow is the greatest pillow in the world because I wake up rested every single morning. With my pillow, I can just relax and slip into that deep sleep, and I stay there throughout the night. So I love my pillow. I personally guarantee that my pillow will be the most comfortable pillow you'll ever own. And I want to thank each and every one of you for your support over the last 10 years. Call or go online now to order my pillow, and Mike will give you a second pillow absolutely free. Use the promo code on your screen to get two my pillows for the price of one. Order now. For the best night's sleep in the whole wide world, visit mypillow.com. And welcome back. All set for the second quarter. Kennedy Catholic with a basketball and a one point lead. Top of the key. Three ball for Shannon House, way off the mark. And another rebound taken down by Hobson. She's been all over the floor. 
Hobson feeds it, low block, but the pass is picked off by Kennedy Catholic as the pace has continued to stay up-tempo. Kennedy Catholic. It's McKnight off the dribble, and the ball is out of bounds and will belong to Farrell. You know, that's about the second or third time you know, Hobson really trying to get the ball to her teammates underneath. Maybe just a little bit unselfish. Sometimes you've got to move the ball a little bit and then go a little bit more of an indirect route. And you're going to see them play Hobson a little bit tighter here, maybe a little bit box and one, and try to just chase her around a little bit because she's definitely very active and heart and soul of this feral team. Ball in the hands of Gregory. Top of the key, Rakaia Pierce. Pierce has that one taken away into the hands of Shannon House. Line lane, she puts it up and in. And you can see right there, great strategy by Kenny Catholic. Make somebody else handle the ball, and Hobson sees that. She's going to have to come to the ball and be active and somehow get her teammates involved, but realize there's always going to be help on her, and you can see that right there with the foul on number 13 from Kennedy Catholic. Michaela Fusco picks up the personal. By the way, four points for Shannon House. And we have a timeout taken with 6.49 left to play. Here in the first half, this stoppage of play gives us an opportunity to remind you that every week we will pick the player of the game. This is one player that has made the greatest impact during the game. It is sponsored by Nightline Embroidery and Screen Printing. We'll feature the player of the game every Monday night at 11 on WKBN 27 First News. Chad Krasminski alongside Will Klusnick. And for the second straight week, it has been ladies first. We saw a great one last week over at Poland and a big win for Austin Town Fitch tonight. Boy, couldn't ask for much more here in this one. Just a, a great atmosphere, and, and you can see both teams are very passionate about their players, and it's going to be very interesting, you know, which team prevails, and you can see Hobson early uh, has 10 out of the 12 points for the Steelers, and Kennedy Catholic goes, they're not going to let this happen the entire night and let her take over the game. Now, we mentioned earlier on that Kennedy Catholic has won the last 15 meetings with Farrell. The Lady Eagles have outscored Farrell during that 15-game stretch by an average of 25 points. And if you're asking when was the last win for Farrell over Kennedy Catholic, well, it came all the way back in 2010. You now, right, right now, it's up, up for grabs which team is going to come away with this. But we're going to see, you know, if Hobson's able to adjust. And that's probably what that timeout was for to try to get some movement and try to get involved. And there's another rebound by Hobson, finding the teammates underneath and able to capitalize. Great size, height underneath. Kiara Wade draws the Steelers to within one with that easy point blank range shot. Off the dribble comes Whitehead. They swing it onto the wing. Great take off the dribble. Feed it into the hands of Malia Magestro who's checked into the ball game. Magistro, long three, up too strong. Offensive rebound is tracked down for Kennedy Catholic. Here's Shannon House, scooping it up. It will not go, but she's able to draw the contact and the foul and will shoot two. Both teams are really doing an outstanding job of attacking the hoop, and we're getting a lot of you know, high percentage shots, point blank shots right there. So, again, we're going to see which team's able to not only capitalize, but, but get to the free throw line also. Foul is called on Hobson as the free throw is up and good for KK Shannon House, who is getting some looks at the college level by John Carroll. Shannon House, ready, aim, fire, good. 17-14, Kennedy Catholic up by three. As we're just about two minutes in, six points, by the way, for K.K. Shannon House. Steelers on the attack. Gregory picks up her dribble. Ball is knocked free. It's tracked down by Wade. But there is a reach-in foul called on Kennedy Catholic. And check out who the foul is called on. It looks as if it's Caitlin Figley. Yeah, it's difficult to see from way up here. Boy, it is. Six team fouls on Farrell, five on Kennedy Catholic at the moment. More good defensive pressure from Kennedy Catholic. 
Underneath, off the glass and in for Wade. Wade, nice job of filling the lane, receiving the pass, absorbing the contact, and knocking it in. Kennedy Catholic with some great ball movement. Three ball from the wing is an air ball. Rebound tipped up into the air, controlled by the Steelers. Up the floor comes Hopson. Hopson dribbles behind the back. Hopson gives it outside the three-point line, and it is traveling called as Gregory shuffled the shoes. Gregory shuffled the shoes. She's got to be ready. That time, Hopson made the right decision. She's going to draw a crowd. At that time, she had three defenders around her, had to get rid of it quick. The teammates got to be ready to make plays when that happens. Outside the three-point line, Malia Magestro lowers the shoulder, and it is an offensive foul called against Kennedy Catholic. And that's an easy call for the officials. Dip the shoulder a little bit. Hobson, great footwork. With the push-off, you see the arm. Great defensive play. Still a very tightly contested ball game. It is 17-16. In favor of Kennedy Catholic. Onto the wing, Parker eyeing up a long three. She puts it up around and it falls out. Great rebound by Neely Whitehead. Down the floor, bounce pass. Oh, the other low block. Pinball basketball. Into the corner, here's Berardi. Up, it won't go. Berardi cleans it up. Second try won't go. And the rebound to Farrell's Kiera Wayne. Steelers control it to Hopson. Steelers control, able to take the lead. You know, Hopson able to get the ball. They, they've been doing a nice job of face guarding her. You know, you'd like to see her be a little bit more secure with the basketball right there. And they're going to get an easy run out here. Easy two. Up and in for Figley. Hobson getting a little frustrated with this full court denial. You know, sometimes as a player, when you're getting face guarded like that, you set some screens, you get involved that way, try to get your teammates open. You're going to get real tired just running off screens the entire night. 19-16 is our score. Ball in the hands of Parker. There's another takeaway and a clear path. Line lane. Traveling called. And the turnover will give it back. 3.54 left to play here in the first half. It's 19-16. Kennedy Catholic by three. You're watching live coverage of the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. At Sweeney Chevrolet Buick GMC, we are focused on the future. And we understand that hardships happen. That's life. But we're here to help. We finance your future, not your past. We have hundreds of vehicles, dedicated finance specialists, and over 20 banks to choose from. We strive every day to make your car buying experience better, regardless of your credit history. Discover a better way. Sweeney Chevrolet Buick GMC. Family owned and operated since 1921. Sweet. A TV dad has to be mature. I want to turn on the swing set. Get lost. Instill confidence. Am I ugly? Where'd you get a stupid idea like that? Craig Hoffman. Craig Hoffman said that? Well, he's a sharp kid. You might be ugly. And be completely supportive. I don't want to go to fat camp. Hey, fatty, I hear you're going to fat camp. Remember, father knows less. These aren't my kids. And also, this isn't play yeah. wrestling. We're actually fighting. On Family Guy. Viewer discussion advice. Weekdays at 6 on My YTV. And welcome back to E.J. McCluskey Gymnasium, 354 left to the first half. It's been a great matchup to this point. Kennedy Catholic with a three-point lead, 19-16. Blocking foul called on K.K. Shannon House of Kennedy Catholic. Boy, some outstanding athleticism here on the floor tonight from both sides. Both sides. You can see the double teams coming. You know, and, and they're trying, they're frustrating Hobson a little bit right now. She's got to maintain a little bit of composure, you know, and, and use that athleticism to, to make sure she's putting herself in the right spots, right position. And she, she gets that call right there and now has the opportunity to get to the foul line. Huge first step for Hobson. She's in double figures with 10. She'll stay at 10, missing the free throw. Rebound to Shannon House, who just picked up the blocking foul. Up front, it's Whitehead into the hands of Magestro. They work it onto the wing. This is Figley. Figley back up front. They swing it around. Shannon House, low block. Figley spins off the rim. Shannon House fighting for the rebound. Likewise, it is Figley, but the Steelers control. Farrell fans wanted a foul. 
Hudson controls. Trapped. Feeding it into the paint. Traveling called. Underneath. That's Matyra Evans. She thought she was going to get some resistance when the defender backed off. She shuffled the shoes and the turnover will give it right back to KC. Kind of pulled the chair out from underneath you right there. But again, Evans doing a really nice job defensively with the rebounding. But it has to help. Almost another easy bucket. But again, Kenny kind of really getting after it on the offensive board. Look at Shannon House. Ball tapped around. Control to Magestro. Near takeaway. Magestro. And we have a whistle and we have a timeout called. A little helter-skelter there for Kennedy Catholic. And head coach Chris Mell says, let's slow this thing down now and keep our composure. And that was an outstanding timeout. He recognized that. You know, you had a couple point-blank shots, not able to capitalize. People were kind of out of sorts, out of position. Calls a timeout. You're only up three right now. You want a great possession to try to extend this lead. St. Tonight's High School Basketball Game of the Week is being streamed live at WKBN.com. Download the WKBN app to watch our games all season long, and you'll also find high school scores, stories, and highlights. Download the WKBN mobile app today. Kennedy Catholic coming into this one with a record of 13-0. They blasted Rocky Grove 66-17 on Monday. You want to talk about a balanced attack. You look at their stats, they're very balanced, but it was Magestro with 11, Figley 10. Again, it's not just one focal point, one player that does it all. That's really the case for both teams. You know, that's always hard to defend when you've got players that can score multiple ways and, and multiple players, it, it makes it very difficult to defend. Berardi's baseline jumper, no good, and the ball is knocked out of bounds off the fingertips of Malia Magestro. And it'll go back to Farrell. Steelers trailing by three. And they got the open looks that they wanted, unable to capitalize. So now Farrell with the opportunity to cut into this lead. We're going to see if they're ball handling. And that's they doing a great job of getting out in the pass lane. Shannon House. Unselfish play. Off the glass and in. Nicely done. Magestro, the beneficiary. And that's one of the big things that's been causing Farrell a lot of problems. Kennedy Catholic has been out in the passing lanes. They've been able to pick those off and get some runouts. Farrell's got to do a much better job of setting those players up and coming off screens. That shot away off the mark from Gregory. Golden Eagles wide open. Magestro puts it up and in. And there's this run that we're talking about, getting some of these easy runouts. Defense leading to offense. They've extended their lead now, 23 to 16. Farrell coach Ed Taroski told me the key tonight, handling Kennedy Catholic's pressure. There's an unforced error there, out of bounds, back to Kennedy Catholic. And this is where leadership comes in. You've got to make sure that you slow down a little bit. You get yourself under control. You make good, solid passes. Get yourself under control and get the shot that you want. But it's going to start at this defensive end. you got to lock them up. Inside of 90 seconds left. Up at the top of the key, Shannon House. Dish is off. Oh, what a look! Off the rim, no good by Berardi. Berardi trying to tie things up off the miss. Couple of number 21s going at it. At the possession arrow, and the jump ball points the way of Kennedy Catholic. 115 left. Here in the second quarter. Kennedy Catholic basketball. Ball is tracked down by Figley. This is Malia Magestro. Up at the top of the key. She looks like a very polished ball handler. Pretty good shooter as well. Magestro knocks it down. Felt very comfortable with that one. Able to give it up, get it back, get her feet set. Knocks down the three. Excellent job by Magestro. It is a double-digit lead now. You get a clean look. That's a picture-perfect stroke. Doesn't get much better than that. Next trip up the floor. Steelers turn it over and a chance to increase this lead. Kennedy Catholic has the opportunity. Defensively, Kennedy Catholic doing an excellent job of putting the pressure on people and forcing problems. Look at Magestro. Strong take to the rack. Couldn't stick it in. 38 seconds, clock rolling here. 
skip pass onto the wing. Three ball up. That one was short. And the ball is out of bounds. Alert play by Figley to let it roll out of bounds. And now with 30 seconds left, Kennedy Catholic, you'd imagine, would hold for the final shot. Hold for the last shot. Up 10, you've done a nice job uh, of getting a little run, a little momentum here right now. And now you have an opportunity to stay up double digits uh, and, and really close the door when Farrell had a really nice first quarter. Aaron pass out of bounds. Sydney McKnight's pass off target. Looking for Berardi. Now we're down to 16 seconds left. And again, you get that final possession of the half. Farrell, you're able to convert if you are. Going there feeling a little bit better about yourself. And we're going to see if Hobson's able to do that. Just get a little bit of momentum. Like you said, feel just a little bit better about yourself coming out. But I'm not. I'm sure they're not going to let her go one-on-one -on -one here. And she gets the foul call, going to head to the free throw line. Foul is called on Sydney McKnight with seven seconds left. And that will send Marissa Hops into the free throw line. She's in double figures with 10. Just an outstanding all-around player is Hopson. Free throw is off the mark. Rebound Kennedy Catholic. McKnight off the floor. Shot no good. Wouldn't have counted anyway. And after all of that, we played one half of basketball here at Historic E.J. McCluskey Gymnasium. Your halftime score, Kennedy Catholic, 26, Farrell, 16, our halftime festivities get underway following these words. You're watching live coverage of the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. You're watching the High School Basketball Game of the Week on My YTV. Powered by the WKBN 27 First News Network. Lightline Embroidery and Screen Print in Girard has been a proud sponsor of the Player of the Game for over 10 years. For all of your personalized school or business apparel, event and business signs and posters, they've got you covered. There's only one place to go, Lightline, West Liberty Street, Girard. If you or a loved one need rapid relief from opioid withdrawals and cravings, get help now. Call Dr. Anil Naluri, MD, to learn about new treatment options. 330-783-1147. 330-783-1147. They're not traditional. And restrictions may apply, but not many. They don't play it safe. Known as the risk takers of morning news. Daring to be different. Throwing caution to the wind. Literally. Be different with Len Rome and Jim Lowboy. Weekday mornings on WYTV 33 News Daybreak. An important message for Americans eligible for Medicare. Are you receiving all the benefits available to you? Do you know there is money available to lower your Medicare prescription costs? Now's the time to find the coverage that's right for you at the right price. The way to do that is to explore your options. You can spend hours doing that yourself, or you can call Health Markets and let us do the legwork for you with no cost or obligation. Call 1-800-650-3087. That's 1-800-650-3087. A TV dad has to be completely supportive. I don't want to go to fat camp. Hey, fatty, I hear you're going to fat camp. Remember, father knows less. This isn't play wrestling. Yeah. We're actually fighting. On Family Guy. Weekdays at 6 on MyYTV. Nightline Embroidery and Screen Print in Girard has been a proud sponsor of the Player of the Game for over 10 years. For all of your personalized school or business apparel, event and business signs and posters, they've got you covered. There's only one place to go. Nightline, West Liberty Street, Girard. And welcome back to Farrell. We're here at halftime. It is the Kennedy Catholic girls with a 10-point lead, 26-16 over the Farrell Steelers. Hi again, everybody. Chad Krispinski, pleased to be joined courtside. We're actually behind the basket of the Farrell basket, that is. And Will Klusenick joins me now. And, Will, as you take a look at this, Farrell really came out with a lot of fire in that first half of play. They were very concerned with that pressure from Kennedy Catholic. It's pressure that really got to them in quarter number two. Yeah, I think the big thing was, was that defensive pressure, but it was in the half court. They got themselves out in the passing lanes, a, a, able to, to develop some of those easy looks. And you could see one of those right here by, by Shannon House, able to get the ball to Magestro, 
and lay it in. And what a spark she was coming off the bench. Once again, we saw that great size differential, great height for the Farrell Steelers. We'll see if they continue to stay, stick to that game plan, so to speak, not stray from it, because that is truly an advantage. It's definitely going to be a big advantage for them. Get those high percentage shots on the interior, but it's going to be Hobson. Is she able to get them the ball? She had 10 points in that first quarter, had one point in the second quarter. That was the difference in that second, in that first half. We'll break down the first half and have all those first half numbers and some highlights as well. Halftime score 26 16. Golden Eagles leading the Steelers. Only one team will head home tonight undefeated. Halftime coverage continues after this. You're watching live coverage of the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Get out of the car with your hands up! In the line of duty. I'm going to change you, man. Put your hands behind your back. Cops are ready. You got a shotgun? For action. Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Drama. Please, officer, please. And the unpredictable. Cops are ready for anything. You cannot tell my car. It's not being my boots son. Cops reloading. You are discretion advised. Weekdays at 1 on MyYTV. A TV dad has to be mature. I want to turn on the swing set. Get lost. Instill confidence. Am I ugly? Where'd you get a stupid idea like that? Craig Hoffman. Craig Hoffman said that? Well, he's a sharp kid. You might be ugly. And be completely supportive. I don't want to go to fat camp. Hey, fatty, I hear you're going to fat camp. Remember, father knows less. These aren't my kids. And also, this isn't play yeah. wrestling. We're actually fighting. On Family Guy. Viewer discussion advice. Weekdays at 6 on MyYTV. This situation is somewhat unique. I designed a system to prevent the next 9-11. That's where you'd come in. Help me stop what's about to happen. You might need a little extra help. I can't allow you to just execute people. They think I'm dirty. That's because you are. You said the machine would give us time. It didn't. Person of Interest, Sunday at 8 on MyYTV. You should name a drink after Joy. Something flat. Highly intelligent comedy. Can you see through my blouse? Nope. Oh, shoot. I'll just have to make it work. Helpful in crisis. I've never been a loser. How do you guys do? And heavy into... Cake. When you feel like eating, don't. Holy... Hot in Cleveland. Great. Hot in Cleveland. Weekdays at 4 on MyYTV. Boy, there is so much winning tradition here in Farrell, Pennsylvania. Historic E.J. McCluskey Gymnasium. But at the moment, it's the Steelers trailing Kennedy Catholic by 10, 26 to 16. Hi again, everybody. Chad Krispinski alongside Will Klusenik and Will. It's been a battle of two Pennsylvania powers here tonight. Only one of them is going to head home undefeated still. But we've seen two different styles as well. But it's the pressure from Kennedy Catholic that has won out to this point. And that's definitely been a di difference. Defensively, they've been able to face guard Hobson, able to get out in the passing lanes, create some of those high percentage runouts to give them this 10-point lead. Let's take a look at the numbers from the first half of play. As you can see, Farrell getting some high percentage looks, 43.8%. Kennedy Catholic just 34.6%. Both teams taking care of the ball relatively well, and Farrell will need to convert its free throw opportunities. Miscellaneous numbers. Look this way in the first half. Rebounding edge goes to Kennedy Catholic. A little bit of a surprise given the height differential and advantage for Farrell. We talked about how much firepower this Kennedy Catholic team has. A huge first half off the bench for Magestro. Magestro. She looks for the shot, takes it. She's been a great spark coming off that bench. Magestro with seven points off the bench for the Golden Eagles. Hobson in double figures with 10. And we'll see if the Golden Eagles can make it 16 straight victories over Farrell. Steelers have something to say about that. Third quarter action comes your way next. We've got it locked to live coverage of the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week.